Hey guys, what's going on? It's Delconic here, and today we're going to be doing some summons on the Strength Cell Banner. Now, I know, I did say I wasn't going to do any summons on it, but I want a dupe of that LR Gohan. That's really why I'm doing the pulls. I mean, yo, if I get that Strength Cell, I mean, I got some dupes, some SSR dupes that I could feed into him. I mean, I got 16 million Zenny left. I still got some Zenny. So, I mean, after awakening those two LRs, man, oh, shoot, I don't even know how I'm going to awaken my LR Frieza now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, um, I have some SSR cells that I can feed into him. So that's going to be a good thing. Mm, let's go ahead and take a look at the, car, the, the, the scouter, because I really haven't looked at it yet. So, obviously, we have the strength cell. We have Omega. I know that. My buddy just pulled him. Um, ooh, the K. The strength Vegeta, not bad. I would like to get him for some extra um, damage reduction. I knew about Gogeta. I don't want that Broly. That cell could be fed into him. I want that Gohan. Sin Shenron, I could definitely use some more to feed into a super attack. I have my Sin Shenron. Um, yeah, nothing else is really good on here. I have my Sin Shenron. Um, George, stop. <laughs> uh, set to all four dupads unlocked, and he's at super attack three or four right now. So without further ado, we're going to do some single summons. I know a couple of you guys asked me why I do single summons. It's because the rates on the banners go up and down. And because they go up and down, the chances of me pulling while the rates are spiked are higher. At least that's my opinion on how it works. I don't actually know, but I know I've watched videos. I've done it. I've done this before where I've watched this Dokken stats page and there's, been a, and there's a spike in, in, in one character. And I start doing some summons and I, have a, I get a higher chance to actually pull the character. So right now, I have that uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan a little bit higher. He was a little bit higher during the day. He had like a 1.3 pull rate at some point. I think that might have been as soon as the banner uh, got, uh, came up. Let's see, Super Saiyan 1. Super Saiyan 2. No, 3. Um, so yeah, I think was as soon as that banner came up, so it might have just been a little bit skewed. But as of right now, I want to go and get uh, this, this uh, Strength Gohan. So... Yeah, I've done a few summons so far. God damn, just let me pull them. <laughs> uh, this banner does have higher rates, though, than the Merge Zamasu and Trunks banner. Thank the Lord. You know, thanks, Shigesh. Tap, 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 pull, release. Base form, of course. Uh, they also changed some animations, so apparently we have, like, the seven pods now and all the different, like, different by guys, I guess you call them. You have, like, the by guys, the thanks Dragon Balls, and it's over freezes. So that's cool. I miss the, the the OG. It's over freezer. That that was old school. That's the way things used to be for us <laughs> back in the old days. So let's see. One, two, three, three pods, three pods. No rainbow. Super Saiyan though. We got one. We got two. Come on. No three. Oh. Ugh. Oh, freaking this guy. You know, I guess I, I could finish maxing out the super tech. I just, I've run out of all the metals because I'm trying to um, get all these SSRs awakened to be really, like, get them high enough so that way I could uh, Doken awaken them because I have so many uh, SSRs that are that have Doken awakens available. I just didn't want to Doken awaken them because I want them at super tech 10 before. And like the androids, for instance, the orb changing androids, uh, luckily for me, I have them all at super attack 10. But I really don't want to Doken Awaken him now because... Oh, look at this freaking cell, the Strength Cell. I'm going to keep him, though, because he will feed into the future support unit. And he'll be good for that. So, we're going to lock him up. You know, like, um, I have, like, all my Strength Units because of that LR, these LR Freeze. I got super lucky. I ran out of all my medals. And because I've been doing that for the longest time, I had a 1.200 million Zenny. So, I was like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. And then that freaking Broly came around and destroyed my bank account. Destroyed the payroll. <laughs> Nothing. Freaking trunks. And I, you know, I, I don't need any of those trunks anymore. I have my physical SSR Super Saiyan trunks maxed out. No reason for me to have him anymore. Until, until well, Kid 1 comes out in the future again, but that's not even happened on JP yet. So, I gotta put a freaking... I have my Do Not Disturb set up already. Alright. I gotta figure out a way to turn off my... Uh, Facebook Messenger app, or at least I put on Do Not Disturb. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on my actual Facebook page, and I keep it on him. That way. Alright, one. Uh, only Super Saiyan 1, come on. Grace me with a bye, guys. Oh, really? 
Fist Videl, Fisting Videl, I mean, what? <laughs> uh, alright, let's see. But yeah, um, I really just want to get that, that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. If I get it, if I get the dupe here, I'm going to get his dupe path unlocked, and I'm going to, uh, well, I can't Dogen Awaken him, but then I'm going to feed some Elder Kai's to him to get him to Super Neck Tank, because I have immense damage multiplier. He's going to be super useful on that um, SS4 Goku team. Because I'm probably going to go hard body for that Goku. I, I might actually... He might be the first character I actually go specifically on the banner to continue four dupes for. I usually just get the base character and I'll worry about dupes as they come along. I think he's going to be the first one that I actually do dupes because he's going to be the only one I pull for for a long time. Um, until, well, probably until Super 17, assuming things play out the way they did on JP. So yeah, that's going to be a long way. I don't plan on pulling for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta just because every... Every single I'm gonna be doing a video about this, but every single card on that Vegeta banner that's Wolf worth pulling for is available on future banners. So even the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, there's no reason for me to pull on him. So I'm just gonna wait till Super 17 to pull for the v Vegeta and the 17. Which makes more sense to me. God damn, I can't get a good freaking pull for garbage. Ugh. Uh, so the Dokken stats page did just update, and it says that that Gohan's at 0.7 right now, though. Uh, but Cell jumped up to point uh, to 1% or over 1%. So who knows? Maybe I'll pull him with the with the buy guys. Nope, just the Gohan, just the Gohan. <sighs> All right. By the way, I just finished recording that LR Frieza event. Uh, the one with the full agility team, I know I was saying I was going to bed, but I got super excited. I wanted to do some summons on this banner, and I was only going to do them once. I don't have time tomorrow to do them, uh, to record them, and... Oh, look, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to be too upset, because I am going to feed the, the increase his super attack. I want to get out with the super attack 10 before I Doken Awaken him, with all the four dupes unlocked. Because he's going to do really decent on a villain's team when I have all of them unlocked. He'll be critting, he'll link well with Momega. So he'll be his best friend. Okay, I got a rainbow and a Super Saiyan. What? Super Saiyan 2, come on, baby. Come on, baby, please. Shugesh, Shugesh, you got me, right? Shugesh. No, I got a nail. I got a nail. You know, I didn't just... Wait. Recover 300 HP per key orb of characters type gained. That's horrible, but it's good. At the oh, that's right, because he was part of that uh, Tech Freeze event. I was like, survive KOs. Yeah, no, he was part of that Frieza event. I completely forgot about that. So, yeah, for any of you guys doing that Trunks event... Ooh, five pods, rainbow, Super Saiyan. For any of you running that um, uh, Trunks event, he, that when Trunks goes, like, crazy sword guy on you... Oh, uh oh When Trunks goes crazy sword guy on you, you if you actually have that nail with full HP, you'll, like, you'll, you'll survive his attack and you can keep on going. Um, same thing with like the strength Super Saiyan Goku, the one that looks like he's powering up, like like gravity's to, like pulling his body apart, but he's powering up at the same time. Uh, whatever. That that's the other one, but he's like HP thirty percent or higher. He'll survive a knockout attack. Android eighteen. Are you good? No, you're not. So these, some of those rares, they'll surprise you. Like that rare physical Go uh, Hercule. If you all know, I think he has like a, a damage reduced by like 45% uh, when his guards activate it. I was like, what? You know, I got him up to super attack 10 a while ago because of that. I was like, yeah, you know what? He'll he'll come in real handy one day. I know he will. <gasps> oh, shit. Well. Screen cap that. <laughs> Gotta send that over to Steve. <laughs> all right. Well. I guess I got that cell. That's that's cool. And like I said, okay. So I'm not like I I'm happy that I pulled him. I just did want to state one more time. I know I stated it in the other video that's that's been dropped already. He's going to be available on other banners. He will not be as relevant unless you're running a full uh, villains team. But there are other characters that are better villains, um, or an extreme villain like an extreme end villain um, uh, mono strength team. So I'm not upset. Like I'm happy I pulled him because I don't have him, and he's a good character. But don't get like he's not worth pulling for on this banner. But man, I can't get a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan for shit.
at least the summons weren't a uh, full waste. You know, I got I got the uh, banner card, so I'm happy about that. All right, well, we got five. You know what I forgot, guys? I forgot to do our group summon. So let's go ahead and do that together. Uh, go ahead and pause me if you need to. I'll give you a second. All right, so I want to go to the bait. What we typically do, we're going to three, two, one, go, and then we're going to release. So three, two, one, release. And I got nothing. And what do we got? What do we got? We got crack screen, crack screen? No, crack screen. Oh, are you... I hate you. Why? Why? Freaking Mr. Mime over here. God damn, get out of this game. Get out of this franchise. Why did you get created Toriyama? What were you thinking? I fucking hate goddamn Shiaotsu. <laughs> One, two. Two pods. Don't you dare give me another freaking Shiaotsu. Goddamn freaking mime looking thing. You can give me a crack screen, right? Make up for that? Come on. Come on. Oh. Piccolo. Uh, I'll, I'll save him for my LR Piccolo, because I have the last one to get him to Super Attack 10, so that way I can Doken Awaken him to get uh, my LR Piccolo Super Attack 20. He's going to do really good when I pull LR Gohan. Yes, when I. <laughs> Alright. Raditz. Super Saiyan 3 Raditz. Look at that. Such a great, powerful unit. Man. Oh, look at that. This is one, one that I'm talking about. Okay. Agility. Damage received minus 30% when guard is activated, and he only has a cost of 5. I did not realize that about that one. So, you know, sometimes it's actually worth checking those the, the, the actual uh, passes on these characters. Like, Insane Lineage is not as relevant, but Insane Lineage and Insane Warrior Race, it... Yeah, I, you know what? He might be good on one of those restrictive levels where you're only... When you can only have a certain amount of car cards or uh, team cost with you. Uh, so if you're going up against, like, the, um, the strength event... Just to have an additional character there with really low cost, that Raditz might actually be super useful for you. So, use him. <laughs> Z awaken him to an SR. I just saved him because I'll probably be using him now in the future. Maybe on like, um, oh, it's my last one. Uh, maybe on one of the um, videos that I do in the future on how to take on uh, one of the strike events, I'll show you him. Alright, don't, come on, don't give me garbage on the last pull. Really? You really give me garbage on the last pull? Ugh, what garbage. Well, that's it, guys. That was all the multi summons. I used all this, the gifted stones we've gotten over the past couple weeks. I had, like, 60-something of them. And then I did a couple at work, actually. Um, and then I got I just did these. So that's it. I'm not pulling this banner anymore. I have my um, STR strength cell over here. And, you know, I'm not upset. Pretty happy about that. Now it just gives me more of a reason to grind out those medals. Oh, remember, um, I know I said this in my other video when I went over the cards over the event. Remember that this cell, um, the, the cell event, has the medals for the Elder Gohan that's coming up. So make sure you grind those 77 medals out for him as well. So hey guys, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, let me know what you pulled down in the comments. You know, if you guys decide to pull on the banner. Uh, thank you for taking the time to come watch the video, and I will catch you all later.